Welcome to another SafeSure's app podcast and this time I want to show you a nice Twitter client called Tweetian but before I show you this there is of course an option to enable a Twitter account in the SafeSure's operating itself, operating system itself so you can go into accounts and can add a Twitter account just like I did here. This allows you not to only upload images for example to Twitter um, but you have also the option to see your Twitter feed on the event screen. So you have your tweets here and you can see there are five tweets here. If you click, they, they get regularly updated and you can click on show me more to get the next five Twitter, fee, uh, Twitter tweets. And uh, if you click on one of those tweets, it will open up a web browser. So there is no real Twitter integration in this uh, feed. If you want a native Twitter application with a little bit more options and a native look and feel, you can install Tweetian that you can find on the Yola store. And here you can see um, that it's downloaded over 10,000 times already and has a very it's a very popular application. So I can recommend you installing it and after you've logged in to your Twitter account and enabled access for the Twitter application, it will present you your Twitter feed or Twitter tweets uh, that you have subscribed to. And you can scroll through them, you can open them up, just like for example I have here something uh, with, a pic, uh, with a picture, with an Im image, pic.twitter.com. If I click on this, it will open up the tweet and will also show the picture. I can click on the picture to have it a little bit larger. I can also uh, zoom into the picture if I want to. <laughs> Not a very nice picture in this case of the Olympics, but uh, yeah. Uh, this is one option, of course, if you have links, uh, just like for example uh, in here, I can just click on this and then click on the link and it will bring up the web browser directly going to the website that was linked in the tweet. So very nice and interesting feature of course. Of course you have the option in a tweet to answer this tweet, reply to this tweet basically, retweet uh, at, and add to favorites or copy the tweet if you want to just simply use it for something else. So this is possible as well in Tweetian. Then of course you have a navigation bar on the bottom where you have your home, basically all the subscribed feeds or tweets. Uh, you have your at where you have some answers or some mentions. Uh, you have your private messaging. You have your search where you can also see saved searches. Uh, you can see the trends worldwide for example. So what's trending currently, you can see here also uh, some interesting languages are supported here. And you can then simply click on one of those, uh, let me click on SafeSureS for example, not this SafeSureS, uh, to see all the tweets around SafeSureS for example, SafeSureS search here, and you can see that there are, there are some interesting tweets here, someone for example, got in SafeSureS uh, phone, I guess, or at least he has a ma manual here. Uh, so this is a um, very nice and interesting way to organize your tweets, to search for tweets and so on. And of course you have the option to add new searches just by clicking here and add simply your search term. Or you can go into options, just like for example here, suggested users to follow. So it'll give you a list of suggested users, tweets nearby. So it will ask you to activate your location, um, um, your location services, and then it will just simply scan for tweets nearby. Uh, you have an advanced search. If you go into this, you have some other options, as you can see here, uh, to uh, search for example for tweets in a specific language so it's a very 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 uh, good uh, searching method for uh, tweets very advanced mm. 
Uh, you can, of course, also change what's very interesting, the, um, uh, the placement, basically, or the location where you are currently for trending topics. So if you are, for example, on vacation somewhere else, and basically it's saved here that you, uh, uh, that you are on this no new location, uh, but you want to basically the, the, the old location, your home location for trending topics, you can change uh, this here if you want to, so you can change the, uh, the country uh, from where you get all the trends or trending topics. And of course you have your user menu itself, where you can see your profile, uh, you can see how much uh, tweets you wrote, how many people are following you, favorites, and you can of course sign out if you want to have a different login, um, or go to settings to set things up for your user. If you go on home, you have also a pulley menu which allows you to refresh or create a new tweet. If I click on new tweet, you can see I have now the option to just type in something in here. There's an indicator, a nice indicator showing me how many uh, chars left. And of course, in the pulley menu, you have the option to attach a location or attach an image uh, that I want to share with my tweet. Yeah, this is basically the Twitter client. Of course, there's also a pulley menu down here. Uh, basically offering you the same options um, but as you can see here they are global so if you are here uh, in this oh, this not but <laughs> in this for example you see settings about tweet channel and signed out and here you still have the option to create a new tweet or to refresh um, which is an, a nice global option if you want to access the uh, create a new tweet option wherever you go. So there's a pull-up menu, basically. Yeah, this is the Twitter client. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of the uh, Twitter client. And um, you can get it from the Yola store, as I showed you before. And yeah, rate the application if you install it and think this is a good application. And uh, yeah, this is everything for this little demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.